Last week, I actually got hands-on with Shadow of the Tomb Raider. This is the new Tomb Raider coming out in September, uh, and a lot of you guys actually had a lot of questions for me after I mentioned playing it on Game Ranks. I went to Montreal. I got one hour with the game at a Square Enix preview thing. I'm not forced to like say I like the game or anything. It's just literally a preview. So here are some details. Here's what I thought was interesting. First and foremost, it is very much more Tomb Raider. If you weren't into Tomb Raider 2013 uh, and uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, it's more of that. It's different, it's got its different spins, it's got its different hooks, but that general gameplay style and that general feel and that general loop is the same here. But it does feel different. Most notably, uh, this is where I think finally, she's finally becoming the Tomb Raider. They, they pitched it as a three-part arc, uh, and this is the one where she finally has no hesitation about what she's doing. She's figuring out who she actually is, and the game feels more confident and more badass right off the bat. Um, it starts very differently from what I played. It was a demo of roughly, you know, 15, 20 minutes into the game. And it starts with Lara at a table with Jonah, drinking beer, planning their next move. And she are immediately seems way more confident, way more smart. Uh, but the sequence is really cool because it's in Cozumel, Mexico, on the streets. Uh, on the Day of the Dead festival, and there's all these fireworks going off and all this like really authentic music, and you're walking around with your hood up, uh, trying to figure out what Trinity is up to, and you're kind of creeping around. The city looks amazing. Um, a lot of times, if you get too close to an NPC, they'll kind of look at you, being like, what is this girl doing here? But it was a very cool scene, but then you move through the city into the jungle, and that becomes more of a traditional uh, Tomb Raider type of experience, I guess you would call it, uh, which is like that very fast pace, being able to stealth around and take out dudes and pull out your bow and weapons, stuff like that. It plays the same, but there's little differences here and there. First, uh, she has way more stealth attacks and way more stealth stealth capabilities. She's a big ass knife now, and she's not afraid to like stick it in dudes' stomachs, which is cool. Uh, there's, it, uh, there's a lot of feel here around jungle sneaking and it feeling like Rambo. You're hiding in bushes even more, uh, but you can also go up against walls now that are covered in ivy and kind of creep your way through while you're covered in mud and covered in ivy and pop out and kill someone and pull them into the bush with you. Uh, it sounds like more of the same, but it feels kind of different. There's still lots of cave climbing and climbing up mountains and figuring out how to get into a waterfall, but uh, one interesting thing with the climbing now is the ability to repel. You press one of the triggers and she'll instantly start repelling down from her point. From that repel down, you can then start swinging or climb back up, and I like that. It felt Honestly, kind of like Uncharted 4, but still, I think this game kind of needed that, and that's good. What I do like is that the tombs you're exploring is, is Mayan civilization. You're trying to figure out something, and there is a potential Mayan apocalypse, and I think that's kind of cool. It adds a little bit more creepiness, a little darkness, a little more spooky. Uh, if you can tell by the teaser trailer, there is like a, a spookier, gorier tone, and that's definitely apparent in the whole game. Not to mention just the Mayan tombs you're exploring because there are so many booby traps set uh, that are designed not just to kill you, but to like really fucked up kill you. Generally, the game is more gory than the previous games, and the previous games were fairly gory, but here it seems like it's worse. Uh, there's also a lot of uh, almost drowning. There's lots of swimming sequences here. Uh, the game is going to have full focus on spelunking at certain parts. Um, I only got to swim without an oxygen tank, and it kind of felt like swimming in the other Tomb Raider games, but apparently the game is going to emphasize that more, so if you don't like underwater levels, I kind of cringed. Uh, look forward to that, I guess. But then there's also a stealth sequence where you can sneak around and take out dudes until you fuck up and then you set the alarm and then it becomes a full shootout um, and you know you're shooting more dudes and it feels like Tomb Raider but what is cool is that Trinity has these like badass ghost recon looking elite troopers now who are a bit more effective and a bit more harder to kill so that adds a challenge I, I did enjoy fighting against them but it all felt pretty similar uh, but what didn't feel similar is actually the way Lara looked her costume design at least in this demo was far more evocative of the classic Tomb Raider. Um, she's got cut off, she's got like a cut off combat t-shirt vest type of thing and she's got guns and she's got cool pants and jeans with bullet, with gun holsters and it just felt a little more Tomb raider -y, if that makes sense. Like all it took was the subtle gray light blue shirt to instantly trigger my brain into old Tomb Raider. Although she feels very different as a person, I like that nod, I think that's cool. Uh, it also, there's this whole sequence after you, after you take the thing from the tomb and you go back up to the town, Cozumel, Mexico is completely flooded by a monsoon and then you're treated to this like incredible sequence where you're like, Get, like getting hurtled through the city, through the streets, in the water, 
And it's, it's very much an action Tomb Raider sequence that you control your way through that we've seen before, but it was just damn good. It was really, really fucking good. Not only that, at one point you're trying to climb up a building as it's sinking, and there's a kid that you see in the earlier sequence, and you think you're gonna be able to try and get to the kid and save him, and he literally just falls and fucking dies. So that was that how that went. It's very interesting because after she got away from the flood, there's this whole sequence with the villain, who the villain here seems very much a samey type villain. He's a Trinity dude, he's smart, he's motivated. Uh, here he almost seems kind of like on an equal playing field with Lara, questioning what the hell she's doing because she may have possibly triggered this whole earthquake. And then she eventually meets up with Jonah, and then there's this really good drama sequence between them. The game overall, what they told me is that there's a lot more focus on story this time around, which I'm all about because I, I want that focus. This game focuses around her finally really becoming the Tomb Raider, uh, but also coming to grips with what she's doing, uh, focusing on her work and, and the struggles with Jonah because Jonah had to actually snap her out of it and say, stop thinking about Tomb Raidering right now. We have to save these people. And she said, hey, the whole world's gonna die if I don't stop. And he's like, you can stop for a second. As someone who is like a workaholic, I kind of like that, I kind of appreciated that. But I'm just curious to see where this goes because generally what she's doing in the plot is she's kind of just screwing with Trinity. She's going out and she's trying to steal artifacts before they do just to fuck with them. So far though, it's fun, it's more Tomb Raider. It does set up a little interesting questions uh, with Lara and the gray area and like what she's actually doing and the damages it could possibly cause and what that does to her as a person and like where her Tomb Raider character is going to fall if she's going to be more mercenary, more anti-hero, more total perfect hero. There, there's a lot of questions there and I'm into it. I, I saw a couple of other little snippets here and there, like the ability to use a rope dart and then jump down and hang the dude on the tree. I also saw her also do that while swinging and then choking a dude out with her legs. That was really cool. Uh, hunting, there's going to be a lot of jungle emphasis hunting. Uh, I saw an encounter with a cheetah. It also looks like there are going to be a bunch of different costume designs with at one point her sneaking into this Mayan civilization and dressing up like one of them. Uh, think of Apocalypto, the movie. It seems heavily inspired by that. But that's everything I wrote down and that's everything I remembered. For those of you that do really love this series, uh, that's what I can tell you right now. Am I totally satisfied? No. But do I really like these games and I just kind of want to play more? Yeah. Is it going to do enough different? It's too early to say. We still have to wait until September. I have no idea. But I am curious to see what you guys think about this upcoming Tomb Raider just because uh, all you got right now is the teaser. Um, that doesn't really tell you anything, but I, hopefully I was able to help with that, like what to expect. We'll probably get more gameplay reveals soon, either before E3 or during E3. So let's talk about this stuff down in the comments, man. I wanna know how you feel about Tomb Raider in general. I love the reboots. Uh, I'm hoping this one kind of tops it off with a cherry, but we'll see. But as always, thank you guys for coming around and listening to me ramble about this old video game stuff. I appreciate it. I'm Jake Baldino. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe because video games.